All right, there's Alex, and this is happening, man. What do you it's think? It's happening. We're excited. We're here at the Florida Mango Festival, and we're kicking it off right now. Um, I got to go give a talk in probably 40 minutes or something like that, and I'm excited for it. And um, it's going to be great. We've got so many great growers from across the state of Florida here right now, people that have been involved in mangoes for decades. And um, this is what uh, Mango Festival is about, is involving people who have a love and passion for mangoes. And it's going to be great. I can't wait to talk to everybody. And uh, I hope that this inaugural event is uh, a big success. So. Great. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Here we are at Mango Fest, Florida Mango Fest 2024. And we're going to meet some of the vendors as they're setting up. And we'll be making videos throughout the day. Now this started because Alex has had a dream at Tropical Acres uh, Farms of many years of doing uh, the most amazing Florida mango event to promote Florida mango specifically. And two years ago we did a small tasting on Father's Day at his farm. And last year we did a, a unadvertised by him but by me a mango tasting on his farm. And it turned out to be really big. Well... Uh, this year he said he's going to advertise, but we need a bigger place because they don't have enough parking spaces where he, his place is. And also, it was going to be on Father's Day, but mango season started late this year. So here we are, June 30th, 2024. And we were going to try to contact the fairgrounds, which would have been perfect if we were all indoors, but they got back to us too late. So we're at Mount's Tropical Garden, and it's good because we teamed up with... Uh, uh, Florida University and they helped us a lot and we're doing it and it's starting today so I'm going to show you some of the vendors so far before it starts and show you how many trees some people have bring and a lot of people I've interviewed over the years are here so that's really cool that you'll get to meet these people uh, plus many other people of you out there many viewers and we only we had to limit it this year because of the parking situation so we had to limit it to 500 people so sorry for those of you that missed it, but next year, sign up early. But we will try to have it at a bigger venue. So this is Trees and More. Uh, not only is he selling trees, but you'll get to meet Mike here in a little while. Wealth of knowledge. I've had him on my videos many times, and he has a lot of a lot of mango trees here. There he is. There's Mike and his I'm wife. Just come down to my booth. We were there. We were near your booth, and so we'll be back there later. Okay. Great All to right. see you. All right. Yeah. And look at this. This this is Hidden Acres Farms, and look, they got a. Looks like a Karen Michelle mango right in front of the driveway there in the, in the bed of their truck. So this is Hidden Acres. Uh, they're in Fort Lauderdale. They have got some pretty big trees here. And they're just getting set up. Uh, there's even a, looks like a breadfruit tree back there. And it looks great. You got some breadfruit trees? Lots of breadfruit. Wow. We got like 20, I think. 20 breadfruits and they got a ton of mangoes. Yeah. They, they. All right, we're getting ready to start, and while everyone's just hanging around, you know I'm filming, I'm always working. Here goes Hidden Acres Farms, the most beautiful looking mangoes. Look at the color on these, amazing. And uh, you don't have a list on, on uh, there like you do on of the, the codes, what they need. We know coconut cream, what's CB? Cockshaw. Cockshaw, okay. Check this one. Wow, uh, that is what? Lanzatia. Lancetia. Yeah. Okay. Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon. I don't know why they call it Ugly Betty because they're beautiful. I look at Lumpy. So I guess UB. Yeah, this one. That oh. one. Yeah. Oh, Still beautiful. It sure tastes good. Yeah. That's great. So they're going to have mangoes for sale here today. And they got trees. They got a lot of bunch of trees back there. Wonderful, wonderful farm, nursery. They're excellent. Hidden makers. Check this out. These are Harvest Moon. And I, I was at Zill's and me and Gary Zill had one the other day. Look how big that is. Look, compared to uh, here, of, what is that? Val Kerry. Okay. Look at the difference in size. That's wonderful. All right. People are going to be happy today. All right. Everyone's getting more set up here. Uh, gates aren't officially opened yet. As I said, we have uh, some amazing places. Hidden Acres Mangoes Farms, and there's Steve, and he knows how to pick mangoes. Wow. Amazing. And he's having a mango for breakfast. Amazing. 
But this is the best colored mangoes you'll find. Wonderful. Thanks for being on out here. All right. Thanks, Paul. All right. We'll let him eat his mango breakfast. <laughs> and then we'll say hello to everyone else here at Tropical Acres Farm. It's set up, and they're the, one of the main people bringing all these mangoes here. Go on. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. You got some good trees, man. Zane's World has a a lot of stuff there. They're selling here. These are a lot of different fruits. There, Zane. How you Hi. doing? Hi, Paul. <laughs> and uh, let me guess. Do you like mangoes? Yes. No, you don't like oh, mangoes. No, no, you love not. mangoes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. All right, and uh, so there's all these amazing trees. They got jackfruit trees, a lot of mangoes, but people have other things here, so they have jackfruit trees as well. Another one over there. And let's see if Rob falls. With. Rob, do you like mangoes? I love mangoes. There you go. There you go. Okay. I, even, I love it so much. I have a shirt that says I love there mangoes. There you go. All right, and they got these delicious smelling jackfruits, and this is uh, Zane's World soft jackfruit. Wait a second. We brought one. What happened to the label? Oh, that's, that's, uh -oh. Not, that's not the tree. That's, that's, that's not, not the, the tree. tree. That's just the, the fruit. Oh, okay. No, okay. he's mad because it doesn't say Paul's favorite. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> All right. I so. typed that out real quick. Well, so. I should have one. Well, I, I have one I'm going to be cutting open for the event. Very good. Very good. All right. So they're getting set up here. They're professionals with a shelf and everything, <laughs> which I should have had, but I don't know. i got to dig through boxes. But let's go ahead and uh, see who else is here setting up. Well, this is Bearing Fruit Tropics LLC. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Great YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? Bearing Fruit Tropicals. Bearing Fruit Tropicals. Great channel and they're going to be selling some salsa today it looks like. Jam. Jam. Jam, all right. Yeah. Well, we'll let you set up and we'll say hello later. Thank you for being here. All right. They're going to have some mangoes. All right. Everyone's just getting set on up. Of course, I was the first one here in the dock, but that's all right. Now I have time to make videos, and here we go. All right, I just parked my car. I'm really excited about today's event. So already met so many nice people, but I just saw a mural from uh, Paradise Farms. I interviewed her and Cecil couple of weeks ago and I posted their video and she gave me a mango I never had before golden delight and it's ready so I'll have this for lunch today and try it so this is the first mango that I have never had before that I'm gonna get to taste more and more I've been tasting a lot of these but very cool golden. Is that the taste? okay I'm uh, looking around here and uh, they showed up I finally get to meet them this is Montura Gardens. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good, good. Nice to meet you all. Finally, you? looking forward to meeting right. you, Paul. Oh, that's a Yes, yes. Hi, Paul. I'm honey. How are you? Nice to meet you. I would definitely want to come out to your nursery and uh, get you on video. Yeah, come see us. Uh, I've been out there once, but I missed you the day I was right. there. Aww. But uh, you guys are wonderful. They deliver right to your door. They're great. Thank you. We got some mulberry trees, some mangoes. What else you got here? Um, we got um, some white sapote. White sapote. Some cacao. And everything else is just mangoes. And remember, everybody, they have a great selection, and you can contact them and they'll deliver it to you. But they have Redland white sapote. That is amazing. They got Redland white sapote. Not easy to find. Definitely check them out. <laughs> okay, that's uh, uh, Jack Plays from. Tell us about who you are. I'm Jack Stura. Jack Storak, yeah, and uh, your dad's farm, when did it start, what year? The farm, my great granddaddy started in 1919. 1919, right. wow. Right. And then wow. his son David took over, and then my dad took over, and now I took over. So. Amazing. Yeah. I'm having a blast with it. It's so great. Yeah. Tropical Acres Farms is what they call it now, but it's the Storak. Storak Groves, yeah. Storak Groves, yeah. amazing. Yeah. I was just in a place uh, near Lake Okeechobee. I've right. been out there for a long time. Yeah, Erickson's? Erickson's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, all a nice little microclimate out there. It's amazing, the yes, story, yeah. 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 But your place is amazing, and it's 
amazing to, to know you. Like, it's just really well, amazing. And to know, knowing you. Is it third, third generation, right? I'm the fourth. Fourth generation. Yep. Just beautiful. Yep. All right. Come, and, come uh, see us. And you got, besides the mangoes here, you got a bunch of trees. And we got, got honey some, from the bees on the honey. farm there. Yep. Local honey. That's great. Thank you. All right. You bet, All right. Paul. Take care. All right. And the set up here, this is... Uh, Truly tropical. They've dropped off all their trees. Looking great. They got a bunch of mangoes. How you doing? Good, thanks. How's it going, Paul? Very good. You got a blue jabacaba. Wow. Yeah, 15 gallon. Wow. Amazing. All right. Truly tropical. Hello. <laughs> all right. Everyone's getting set up. All right. Yeah, I, think so. I think I got a I mean, couple. It's, it's Hello, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Is Love Nursery again? Hi, big guy, look at you. Say hi. Wow. Say hi. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Say good morning. What did you do the song? Huh? What did you do the song? Oh, uh, he's home. I can't I didn't have a big family to watch him here today. Yeah. There's Chris. How you doing? Good to see you, Paul. How you doing? I got to bring him by. They got to play with each other. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Thanks for coming on out here today. If it wasn't for you, we we were like, you know, you kept telling us about it, and I was like, well, it's going to be an amazing event. Yeah, you're going to leave with nothing. It's going to be an amazing I hope event. So. God yeah. Willing. Yes. Yeah. We'll see you later. All right. Thank you. Yep. Oh. All right. There's oh, Vince from happening? Backyard. I, Backyard I don't have mangoes. My official shirt on. Yet. Uh, what's up? You know, when is it? When are when are we gonna get some of us small home growers? When are we gonna have a front yard mangoes uh, shirt? <laughs> what? <laughs> or a side yard mango shirt? What? Oh, you already did that. Okay. Uh, you have two. Oh, okay. All right, and there's his sign. It's nice and simple. Not as good as my right. sign, but it's nice. It's really nice. You gotta come you. see my sign. It's really. I took a lot of. I my daughter made it. Simple. Yeah. yeah. Vista Print. Yes, very nice. I'm not marketing that's for that, Vista Print, good, but it's it. Uh -huh. But it's good. All right, and what's in what's in? Oh, pickled mangoes. Pickled yeah. mangoes. Wow. I don't think it's nice. Maybe I got one. Yeah, I've tried them. They got some jackfruit here. And then I have uh, that's perfect. Sure a preserve. Preserves we made. Preserves. Some jackfruit there. We have a oh, one sour sop we brought, and then yeah, uh, oh. Cac, Duncan, Kesar. Uh, Mahachinook, Zill, and a couple of randoms, uh, Chakanon. I got one Golden Queen. Nice. That just it was ready, so I said, let's take it. So very nice. All right, I'll tell everybody your website. Uh, PeaceRiverOrganics.com. PeaceRiverOrganics.com. Amazing place. I've been there. And tell us about this real quick here. What is that this? This is my gift for customer. This is a mango relative. It makes a relatively small purple fruit. It's orange on the inside, a little bit fibery. Very intense flavor. Something that once you try it, you want it. You want more. <laughs> I planted five of these in my front yard to give you a give you an idea. Are they seedlings or grafted? The ones you grafted. planted? Yeah, these are grafted. The mother tree uh, in this case came from uh, Norris Ledesma's collection. Um, How come they're not common? They are becoming common. Okay. So in, in parts of Latin America, they're starting to grow these extensively because they actually put up with tropical conditions better. This comes from Borneo, so it doesn't have the same issues that we have with some of the mango species that really don't like the wet air in the morning. These actually perform better in, in some of the more tropical areas. Wow. But we have a lot of different types of mango trees. We also have uh, some related species. This is Maprang, which is like we call it the plum mango. Um, these are seeds that came in from Thailand. And then we have a special variety here called the Bolt, which is grafted onto Mangifera rubropetala, which is a dwarfing rootstock. It's another mango relative that we use as a rootstock. Cool, man. And everybody check out their website, Peace River Organics. And uh, we look forward to getting back there and doing some more videos. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Matt. Okay, I think we got some food vendors here. Is this a... Is this your booth? No. Yeah, yes. yeah, we're still in the making. <laughs> okay, what do you what do you have? It would be so lovely if you came back when we had this beautiful setup. <laughs> okay, that's okay. okay. So we, we don't have anything. Now, we, oh, we just have. We're just gonna have. Fine. So, got so got he's gonna have cupcakes. Habanero and, mango jam. 
Okay. And we have habanero chocolate cupcakes with fresh uh, homemade whipped cream. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Dave's back here. Very good. I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. So it just, I'm just going to. Take a picture of this. That's theirs. Yes. Okay. <laughs> there oh, you go. thank you. Oh, and I just have t-shirts and totes. All right. I got to get back to my booth. You, you want a tote? Uh, yeah, take a tote. No, no, I'm good. No, I'll give you a tote. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Here Tropical Paradise Grove. Look how beautiful that is. Thank you. Thank that was you. not the Thank purpose. You. That was not the purpose, Paul. I know, but. Thank amazing. you. Amazing. Thank you so much, Paul. And here's a Rare Food Council. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Very good. Very good. Excited to be here. Yeah. Yes. We're going to have a big day. We've got lots of mangoes. Lots of mangoes. Yes, lots excellent. Of mangoes. Excellent. Uh, we have a variety of other fruits. I'm not sure what they're going to be. But... Well, we'll come by a little bit later. Yeah, we'll have them all set up over here. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have more people setting up. Hey, Paul. How you doing? Good. Good. And uh, where, where are you from? Uh, Glamorous Acres Farms. What is it? Glamorous Acres Farms. Glamorous Acres Farms. Yeah. Where are you located? Miami. Miami. Well, I'll let you set up and then I'll come say hello. Is everybody excited? You're going to taste some new varieties, right? All right, everybody. We are about to do the mango tasting. This is the first of eight sessions they're going to have here. And some varieties are amazing. I actually have one I haven't tasted before and also one that's my, one of my favorites. So I'm looking forward to having the people's reactions to this. It's going to be a great time. So here we go. Have you guys uh, tasted many varieties of mangoes? Not too many. No. No? No? Yes. You have? What's your favorite? Julia. Okay. How about you? Malika. 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 Okay. Well, let's see here. Have you guys tasted many different varieties of mangoes? Yes. Yeah, what's your favorite? Pickering. Pickering. Pickering, really? Pickering. That's your favorite? Yes. And you've tasted many? Yeah, we've tasted about 60. 60, and you like Pickering the best? Pickering, M4, Seacrest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Those, look, those are the top three or four. All right. How about you guys? Awesome. Uh, what about you? She speaks Spanish, but she likes she likes all of them. Okay. Numero uno. Damn Doc Mai. Damn Doc Mai. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all excited? We are. All right. Are you all excited to taste new mangoes? Oh yeah. 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 All right. Have you tasted many different varieties of mangoes before? Yes. What's your favorite? Ah, oh, I like ice cream. Nice. Sugarloaf. Sugarloaf. There you go. Two of my favorites. You guys looking forward to it? I like pina colada. You like what? I like pina colada. Pina colada. Pina colada. I like pina colada. I like pina colada. Oh, that's right. Hi, you guys ready to taste some mangoes? We're ready. All right. Have you guys tasted many varieties of mangoes? Oh, yeah. What's your favorite? Pomeranian. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? My own personal. Truly, okay. All right. The next variety is one that I've never tried before. I've been wanting to try it, and it's Gary. Oh, nice. Has anyone here not tasted a Gary mango before? Gary Zeal had this mango named after him, and he wanted to cross the taste with Gary. So a lot of the mangoes we taste today that come from the Zeal program are from a Gary. Either a Gary seedling or a Gary a crossbred with a different seedling. So keep that in mind. So far I think everyone likes the sugar loaf better. The third variety is cap. Cap. How many of you have tasted cap before? So how many of you have not tasted cap? So no one here has tasted cap. Cac is, if you're growing one tree in South Florida, cac is one of the most disease resistant mangoes out there. Completely different. All right, what did everyone think about that? If you liked it, say, oh yeah. 
One, two, or three. What was that? A one. One. Two. Three. All right. So far, Sugarloaf is doing good. Sugarloaf is winning. The next variety is Lemon Meringue. What do you think? Lemon Meringue. It actually tastes like a lemon meringue. It actually... The lemon zest and orange sherbet are descendants from lemon meringue. So far, your best has been number one, Sugarloaf. Now, compare it to the lemon meringue. What do you like better? Number one or number four? Number one. 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 Number four. 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 Okay, it seems like number one is still everyone, most people's favorite. The next variety is called Mana Shanu. Mana Chanu. This variety is most people's favorite. Did everyone like that? Yes. What do you like better, number one or the last one, Mana Chanu? One. 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 One, okay. Are we ready to go to Bombay? I like it. Okay, so what do we like better, Sugarloaf or Bombay? Sugarloaf. Number one, or Bombay. Okay, Sugarloaf is still winning. So the next mango we're gonna taste is Angie. The next variety is Dot. Dot. A couple of people said they actually like Dot as well or better than Sugarloaf. So I just wanna ask you all here, did everyone taste Dot? Okay, if you like Sugarloaf the best, say one. So, one. If you like dot better, say dot. Dot. Whoa. It looks like dot beat Sugarloaf. All right, we're ready for the next second uh, session here. And there's a line outside. People standing in the rain to get in. Look at them. They're waving. We ran out of mangoes. Go home. Uh, and they're laughing. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, now we got a lot of mangoes. We're gonna be tasting about 32 different varieties. All right. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. We got three of the best varieties you've ever tasted. Oh. Now they're really not laughing. <laughs> we have a good amount. We just tasted amazing varieties. And we'll be opening the door soon, right, John? Shortly. Okay. First variety is Pickering. That is the next mango. Okay, the next variety is CAC. The next variety is Pesa. The next variety is Sweet Tart. So the winner is Sweet Tart came in first. CAC was number two. And number three is White no, Paris. Number three is White Paris. Hello everybody, this is Vince from Backyard Mangoes. How'd you know? How are you enjoying the mango, the mango Fest? Uh, you know, I was on the fence about joining you this year and participating, and I am so glad I did. It's been an awesome experience. Uh, a lot of people I've been seeing, a lot of people from my YouTube channel, people I've never met before who are following me on YouTube, a lot of your fans, my fans, and... Um, it's been a fantastic event to talk to people because so much of my business is always shipping and all online. So I don't do a lot of in-person sales. So to actually have that interaction in person, I'm enjoying it. It's been fun. Great. Well, we're glad you're here, everybody. Backyard Mangos, check them out on YouTube. And thanks a lot, man. Thank you, Paul. All right, everybody. Here we are. And this is a tasting. Well, this is actually the display table to show you what these mangos look like. For example, Zill 32.5, and it tells you where it is if you look at this sign. And these are some of the most common varieties out there. We see how they look, how they look ripe and unripe. This is a cack. Look how beautiful this table is. So amazing, and all these different types of varieties of mango. And then we have a whole bunch over here as well. We have this whole table here. So, so. Hello. Look at these. Look at that. So many different varieties. This is a display table to show people how they look. This place is amazing. And uh, everyone that's coming to this event is leaving with a bangle. 
Hello, how you guys doing? You sold out? Pretty much so. Sold all, all your mangoes. mangoes. You got some jams left? Yeah, some dried. Mangoes and dried. Very nice. Some trees. Got some trees left. Very nice. Good, good. I'm glad you guys came. Thank all right, this is uh, Tropical Acres Farms. Here you go. How the sales going here? Everything good? Pretty much all we have left right now is Duncan's and a couple of Crown Canyons. Well, bottom of the barrel. Duncan's are actually really good. We cut one up earlier. No. Yeah, that surprised me too. Yeah. The Duncan's you said were good? Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was real sweet. Yeah. Really? So I was surprised, yeah. I mean, we did, did, did you say I sound surprised or you were surprised? Yeah. We were all I was surprised. surprised. It was very sweet. Everyone's surprised. Thanks for coming down. Yeah, man, thank you. thank you. All right, we have all the guests here ready to go into the tasting. Yeah. Yes, How's yes. everyone doing? You having a good time? Yes. Good time. Yes. Very we're good. in the house, you know? Orlando representing. Represent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite part, we're going to have the panel here. We're going to have all these great speakers speaking here at the same time. And uh, before they come on up here and we uh, get started, uh, this, uh, maybe we'll take two questions before, for, for, for anybody have a question or a comment about this event this year before we get started? It's been fantastic. Fantastic? Great. Anyone disagree? Very good, very good. Okay. Okay, we're going to start the panel right now and call them up here. You want me to call them? You want to call them? Okay. All right, so the panel is going to be, first we're going to have Alex from Tropical Acres Farm. Do you want to take a seat? Thank you. And I'm going to have them introduce themselves uh, in, in, a, in a short while here. Uh, next, we're going to have Julie and Laura from uh, Laura Farms, Miami. I'm so excited to be doing this because... This is my videos, like all the videos I do with all these guys. Uh, where's Dale Erickson? Where's Dale? All right, come on up here. So this is a video with Dale last week. So who else we got? Gary Zill. Gary here? He's coming. He's coming. All right, put that list back up there. Is Gary, is Walter Zill here? Well, come on up, Walter. Great to see you. All right, great to see you again, man. All right, where's the list? Uh, yeah. Who else we got? Six. Oh, Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan Crane. Where's Jonathan Crane? There he is. Great to see you up here in West Palm. I always see him down at Trek. Okay, and then we're waiting for Gary. Yeah. Now, I can tell you this. A lot of you say to me, oh, you know, thank you for all your videos and everything else. If they didn't exist, I don't think I'd have a channel. <laughs> it's like all my videos are at their places, and it's thank you from my heart for just doing what you're doing, and uh, all of the, it's just amazing what they've done, and they've created. It's not my channel, it's all of them, and me just sharing their knowledge with you, and you're growing this stuff, and it's really amazing, so thank you all. And uh, Gary will be in a little while here. I was with Gary uh, this week, and uh, we did some really cool stuff here, and the lectures here were great. People are asking if they're going to be recorded. I don't know if anybody recorded those lectures, but uh, we'll find out and let you know. So we have several questions for them here, so go ahead. All right, everybody. What an amazing day that was. Amazing. Make sure you sign up for next year when the information comes out, so you make sure you get in. But we're going to open it up next year to a lot more people because we're gonna have it at a bigger space, so everyone should be able to get in next year. Also, part two of this, the panel discussion, the audio didn't really come out well, but I'll post it anyway in a second video for those of you that still wanna see it. And as for the lectures that were there, hopefully somebody recorded some of them, but I interview all those people and I'll interview them and get to what they're saying. All right, thank you everybody for subscribing. And remember, if you have a yard and you want me to come out, as it's mango season, let me know and I'll come on out there and uh, shoot some video of your yard and get it on camera here. Until then, have a great day and keep growing. For more educational videos about mangoes and other fruits and how to grow fruit trees, please look out the other videos on this channel, Fruitful Trees, and also subscribe if you like, and also share these videos with others. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and keep growing. Mm -hmm.